Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at whether it's still safe to use a Chromebook after the AUE date. Now the AUE date is the automatic update expiry date. All Chromebooks come with one. So what it means is if, if you bought a Chromebook now, for example, in 2021, and it was a brand new Chromebook at a 10th generation processor, it would receive updates for eight years. Um, if you had a Chromebook that you brought a few years ago, that could have been six years. So it all depends on when you bought the Chromebook. Now, I've got a few Chromebooks, but this is not the first Chromebook I ever bought, but it is the second Chromebook I ever brought, and it's the Toshiba Chromebook 2. It's a fantastic Chromebook. It still works. I don't use it because I do have other Chromebooks. And one of the reasons why I'm not, I, although I completely understand why some people do have a concern over the AUE dates, I use this Chromebook for about two years max, so I think maybe three years before I thought I want something new. But I appreciate not everyone is like that. I got this in 2013, I think, so I think I was using it until about 2016, maybe a bit longer, so maybe four years, something like that. But I, I don't get it wrong, you can still use this Chromebook today. It's got a fantastic display, it's got an IPS display, really good display. I haven't charged it up, so I can't turn it on. I was going to turn it on and show you, but it's not charged up. But the AUE date for this Chromebook is this month, June, I believe. It's got, there's two editions on the um, AUE list. There's one in June and there's one in September. Um, so there was two slight variations on the Chromebook, Super Chromebook 2 that was launched, and I'm not 100% certain what this was. Either way, the video is about whether this is still going to be safe to use once the AUE date has expired. Now, the answer isn't a simple yes or no, because there's a lot more to it. So, first of all, we need to look at the first thing, and that is that because this was built in 2000, or come out in around 2012-13, it doesn't have Android apps, and it doesn't have Linux apps. And Android apps and Linux apps are the two things that people say, oh, well, maybe this creates a slightly higher risk of you getting a virus, which I still don't believe. Um, Linux is in a such a tight container, sandbox from everything else. The same with Android apps. However, I do understand that there are some Android apps out there which are bogus. But again, they are in a tight container, each one, so I don't think there's too much risk. However, if we're looking on the basis that people think they do create a risk, the fact that this Chromebook doesn't have that straight away removes that risk. So we're looking at Chromebooks now, Chromebooks that have just come into the end of their AUE date. Obviously, in a few years' time, hopefully the AUE date won't exist in a few years' time, and I, I don't think it will. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but if you had a Chromebook coming out of AUE um, and it did support Android and Linux, then that would be slightly different. But that's the one thing we need to consider straight away. This doesn't have Android or Linux apps. Now, as far as I'm concerned, one of the biggest risks when it comes to a computer where it's not user-generated risk, and user-generated risk, unfortunately, we need to accept the fact that Humans are usually the ones who make the mistakes, and it's usually ourselves who put us at risk. However, the other one is extensions, Chrome browser extensions. As far as I'm concerned, they're the biggest risk to getting a virus on your Chromebook, especially a Chromebook that doesn't support Android apps or Linux apps. So that's the one thing you'd have to consider what extensions have you got on your Chrome browser. So if we look at it on the basis of there's no Android apps, there's no Linux apps, you can't install programs on this Chromebook or any other Chromebook where the AUE data is coming to the end now because then none of them supported Android or Linux apps. When you look at that, the only thing you need to think about is how safe is it to browse online and use apps online such as a Word program, which is Microsoft Office, not Microsoft Office, sorry, but there is Microsoft Office Word programs you can use. Google, sorry, so there's Google 
and you've got Google Sheets you can use and there's lots of different apps you can use online. It's more about how safe are they. So I think we can safely say we'll be able to use the Google soft, soft Office Suite without any risk. I don't think that's a problem. Now, one thing when someone said this to me as well is, would you still use a Chromebook out of AUE to do your banking? Um, and I had to think about it for a while. And if I'm being completely honest with you, for now, this is still got a month updates until the updates expire. I would still use this for a few months without being concerned about anything because there's, there's nothing, the risks aren't going to just appear out of nowhere. Would I use this for the next year is what is more really of the next two years or even until it dies for banking? Then it gets a bit more difficult to answer because you could argue that if my bank is whoever I bank with, not to say I bank with, but whoever I bank with, for example, if I, I know their website, so I'm only ever going to visit their website. I'm not going to visit a website, a clone website, where the name's slightly different, because that would be my error. So if I do everything correctly, I would only visit their website. All banking websites and most websites today, for example, even my website, and you don't have to enter any details on my website, have HTTPS, so that's secure protocol. Now, what that means is that that's secure when the data is being transmitted. So when you log in to your banking website and you put in your username and password, as long as you can see the certificate, and you should see that the certificate's there for your bank, then that, that means that you it's secure to put in them details and log in without it being seen by anyone else. Um, and in relation to the um, certificates, you've still got to be aware, obviously, if, if you did visit this bogus website that wasn't your true banking website, don't be fooled that just because it's got HTTPS and a certificate that that's secure because it, it depends on what the certificate name is. The, 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 the scam scam artists out there could just change the name of your bank slightly and go and get themselves a certificate. Hopefully they'd, they'd struggle, they'd find it hard because you'd think anyone issuing these certificates would realise straight away there's something wrong there. But it can happen, we need to be realistic. So then we're looking on the basis of, would again, would I use this for banking? Now the problem you've got, although HTTPS it means it's more secure, nothing in this world is foolproof. Um, you, you, you do get man-in-the-middle attacks and that is when HTTPS, when, when you go to your banking website and you go to your browser, will check the certificate and it will say whether that certificate is trusted and then you'll see at the top of your browser on the left hand side you'll see, it depends on the browser, you'll see a green certificate and you can click on it, it will say it was, was trusted. And that's because the browser is connected to the server, the, the banking server, and it's come back saying, yes, that's fine. If you ever go to your banking website and it says the certificate is out of date or there's a problem, never log in, never log in. Even if they say, oh no, it's fine, we're aware. Well, if you're aware, get a new certificate that's up to, up to date. So never log in to a website where the certificate is not up to date. The problem you've got with man in the middle attacks is that, and don't get me wrong, this, no, it's not an easy attack to do, but if it's for banking and you've got lots of money, would people go out and put the effort into it? Rogue states, for example, it is possible. And what a man in the middle attack would do is when your browser, is checking the server, it would interrupt that and it would, you'd go to their server and that then would give the certificate back to say it's safe. But to do that, it would need to have the banking server would have to be corrupt, which is not as likely, or your browser would have to be corrupt, which is more likely if you're no longer getting updates. So it, it, with that in mind, although I'm, I would suggest the risk is very low, 
No, I wouldn't do banking on a Chromebook that the, where the AUE date has expired. Although, like I said, I, I generally do believe the risk is really low. Do you want to take that risk for your finances because you didn't want to buy a new computer? I don't think it's worth it. So in relation to banking or any financial services, um, I think you're fine for a few months, obviously. But after that, no, I would definitely not be using any computer where the browser didn't have updates so it could deal with vulnerabilities. Because if there was a vulnerability with that man in the middle type of attack that I was referring to, you'd be none the wiser. You would be logging in your browser would have gone to their server, their server would have said, it's fine. And then, you know, it, you, you could be logging and giving them your information and then they're going to go to your real banking website and take all your money. So it, it, it is obviously a risk. Now, in relation to not banking and just surfing the internet, using your social media, Again, if you're going to log into credentials and there is a slight possibility these man in the middle attacks could take place, then there's that risk. But the, the risks to them are not, well, it depends. Everybody has different opinions on what, what they prefer to see as risk. For me, it's finance is the, it's the thing that I would really be concerned about. Everything else, not so much. But then you've got to think about Gmail, because you're using Gmail, that uses a browser as well. All of your information is on Gmail, even accessing. So there, there is, there is a risk. I think there is. Um, so personally speaking, I wouldn't use um, a Chromebook after a few months of the AUE date going out because I think it's a risk. However, surfing the internet, just literally going in, doing different things, and not logging into anything, then there isn't a risk. Is there? There's, there's no risk. So it, it, would, it would really limit what you could do. Personally speaking, if it was me and I still wanted to use a Chromebook after the AUE date, I would remove every single Chrome extension on the browser. I wouldn't trust any of the Chrome extensions, even ones which you, you do trust, because if your Chrome browser isn't getting updates, how do you know they haven't found a hack to do something with that extension? So I would, I would remove absolutely every single Chromebook extension. Um, it doesn't at the moment have an issue with Android apps or Linux apps. However, I wouldn't use them if it did. Um, I would log out of my um, Google Gmail accounts. I would log out of all of my Facebook accounts, anything like that. I would log out of everything clear all the browsing history, clear all the cookies, clear all the passwords. And the only time I'd be typing in a password, actually I'd go further than that. I wouldn't put my password in again. What I would do is I would set up a pin in the settings, which you can do, and set up a, a pin. And then, because I've done that, then when I log in, the only thing I would have to do is put in my pin. But I am getting a bit carried away here because we need to remember that I don't think it, that you'd, you'd have to be that secure. But I, I think what I'm trying to say is if you want to be really safe and you still want to use a Chromebook, the only thing I think you can use it for is internet surfing where you don't have to log in with your credentials or you're logging into um, things you don't care about. If you do food shopping, and you don't, but then there's still a risk, it's entirely up to you, but it, if you log in and when you do your food shopping, you don't store your debit card details, you, you put them in every time, that's not much of a risk, but then would you want to put credit card details into a Chromebook that's not got up-to-date details? Like I said, it's, it's one of those things that you can't, you've got to take seriously, it's not something you can just think, oh, you know, that there's no big risk here, because there is um, a risk, so I think the answer is, unfortunately, if you want to be really secure and as safe as you possibly can be, you can't use a Chromebook much longer after the AUE date has gone. So what does, where does that leave you? The problem is, obviously, this Chromebook still, I personally don't use this anymore, 
But the reason I've kept it, I could have sold this a few years ago because I stopped using it a few years ago. But I deliberately kept it because I wanted to see what happened at the end of the AUE days. But I know now what happens, nothing. It just comes up and warns you that the AUE, it's already done it, that the AUE date's near, nothing will happen. I can still use this Chromebook absolutely fine so that there's real, really no problems. I could have sold it a few years ago and someone still could have got a few years use out of this without having an issue with the AUE date um, being expired. The issue is more with people who would have brought this in 2013 and used this up until now, because it's perfect fine to use, then what you do when the AUE date's gone? You can't sell it, well you could, but that's not very right to do, is it? It's not, it's not morally the right thing to do to sell something to someone knowing it doesn't get updates. I couldn't do that. So it's essentially, do you throw it out? I just really struggle um, throwing away something that's perfectly fine. So the AUE date, um, and I sort of backtrack to what I said a couple of years ago, although I don't think the AUE date's a major issue for me personally, because I like to update my Chromebooks every few years, for the life cycle of the laptop, it is a problem because, and also when we think about the environment, is it right that this gets chucked in a bin? No, of course it's not. This needs to be continued to use. So you can still use it, and you do have the options. You could install Linux on this, or you could in install Cloud Ready, I believe. So one second, let me just see what it's called that you need to install. Um, an article on this a while ago. Um, no, not that, not that, not that. Oh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so how to receive the updates on your Chromebook after the AUE date. So the options you have is Yeah, it is cloud ready. So there is an operating system called cloud ready that you can install. And what that, that's very similar to, it's not Chrome OS, but it does mean that you've got a browser that you can use and it will be protected. So that's what I would do if you still want to use it. Obviously you're not going to get the full Chrome OS experience then. So if you, if you love the Chromebook and you want everything from the Chromebook, the answer is you need to buy a new one. But I'm more concerned about the life cycle of a product that has nothing wrong with it and just chucking it a bit and ruining the environment. So yeah, get your act together, Google. You need to sort out the AUE date, I'm afraid. <laughs> you really do. Um, but yes, personally speaking for me, I wouldn't use some for so long since it's not an issue, but yes. So I hope that's answered your questions. Um, in summary, it's safe for a few months. You can still use it. It doesn't have Linux or Android apps on there, so that risk isn't there. Would I use it to log into banking apps in the long term? No, although I still think the risks are incredibly low, even though they're still low when it comes to your finances, do you really want to take that risk? I don't think you should be taking that risk. So I hope that has helped. If it did, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.